top asana workflow examples hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to tell you the top workflow example for on asana so having said that let's just jump into the video so when you come over to their website this is how it's going to look like and all you have to do is just simply click on get started to sign up and the sign up process is completely free and it is very very easy so let me just show you so once you click on the get started button you're going to arrive over here and you're just simply going to enter in your email address and click on sign up and since i've already signed up i'm just simply going to go ahead and log in and i'll catch you guys in a little bit once it is done so over here as you can see this is how your dashboard is going to look like once you have you know signed up and over here are going to be your priorities you can click over here to add like a task over here you're going to have your project and at the top you have a bunch of different options to you know get started you can customize your home page by clicking on customize button you can change the different background over here you know keep it different colors and stuff like that so let's go with a little bit of bluish color and then over here down below you have your widgets so you can drag and drop widgets below the screen to you know add different widgets as well so it's a pretty amazing and then you have your personal to do's over here you can add that over there then you have your team you can go ahead and add your team to your operation and then you have your integrations as well where you can connect different applications to asana such as youtube vimeo uh, dropbox you know google hangouts and stuff like that and once you have done that you are good to go but we're not here to discuss all of that we're here to you know tell you the top project workflow so let's go ahead and click on create a project and try create a project and build a workflow so when you try to create a project this is how it's going to look like just simply enter in the name of your project over here so we'll just say dan's youtube channel over here you can pick any name you want it all depends on you and then you can choose whether to make it public or private it all depends on you and then you have your default view where you have your list view which looks like this and then you have your board which looks like this then you have your timeline and then you have your calendar but i really like the board view because it is very very simple it's very very easy and it's one of the best ones out there so we're just simply going to click on continue and over here you can start adding tasks share with your team or set up a workflow which you can automate so it's pretty simple over here you're gonna like you know add your forms and ambitions and then you're gonna add like to do's and stuff like that it's not super great but we're just simply here to do a simple one so let's go ahead and click on go to projects and over here once you have created a new project these are going to be the boards that you see over here so you're going to have a to do board and progress board and a complete board i'm going to change the names over here so for this one i'm going to say uh, video ideas i'm just simply going to write scripts over here and then in the third one i'm going to write voiceovers and then in the fourth one i'm going to add a new section and i'm going to call it video and then we're going to create another section and we're going to call it review and then one final one which is going to be called complete now once you have added all of your boards you're good to go next thing what you need to do is just simply you know add tasks and assign them to your team members so to add a task just simply click on add task button over here like we already have this task over here so we're just going to you know complete we're going to change its name and we're going to say like you know this is a video idea since this is a dan's youtube channel dan's going to add video ideas over here for us we're going to work on those idiots and then we're going to work on those ideas they're going to make a script create a voiceover then create a video on it then we're going to put it into review and if it likes it we're going to put it into the complete tab that's how it basically works so for this one let's just say um so for this one let's just say that the video idea is top 10 most famous people and over here you can add different assignees to it as well if you wanted to like you know if you want a specific person to work on it then you can go ahead and do that and yeah that's basically it and then you can add like over here uh, like a reference video so that the person trying to create the video can view it and see what he needs to do and stuff like that so let's just assume that we have a bunch of different projects over here all right and this is a project that we have we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this idea from the video ideas and into the script over here and now what this person is gonna do he's gonna write a script of this topic and once the script has been done he's gonna you know attach it over here now to attach the file you will see you have at the top some buttons you have the like button you have the attach button you have the subtask 
you have the copy task link and then you have more action as well so what he's going to do he's going to click on the attachment and over here and he's going to select his google drive and then what he's going to do is he's just simply going to you know add the link to that script over here and you know he's going to go into more options he's going to go into tags and he's going to write script attached right he's going to create that tag and he's going to color that tag green or blue it all depends on you and then boom there you go after that we're gonna you know notify the voiceover artist the scripts are done you know then we're gonna put it over here for the voiceover artist and then he's gonna take a look at it he's gonna go ahead view the attached file script he's gonna make the voiceovers and then he's gonna do the exact same thing he's gonna attach his voiceover over here and then he's gonna go ahead and add a tag over here which will say voiceover vo attached and boom he's gonna enter and he's gonna make it like let's say yellow boom and then we're gonna move this to the video section over here and then we're gonna move this and then we're gonna do the exact same thing over and over again and then we're gonna move it into the view where the person is gonna view it and over here if he you know wants to like you know make some changes he's gonna be like remove the section at like two minutes and maybe 30 seconds and then you're gonna simply click click on comment and then we're gonna be over here and you know where he's gonna tag the assignee as well and then we're gonna fix the video and once it's finalized then you can move it to the complete section so this is pretty you know decent and pretty easy workflow and it's one of the best workflows out there but it also depends on what type of work you're doing so for example if you're you know something like a project management type of tool then or if you're looking to you know uh, a workflow for to manage your projects then this one i think will work for you yeah, of course you can have you know different names of these different boards but the concept is pretty much similar but if you still don't like it what you can do is when you create a new let's say channel what you can do is you can click on use a template and you're going to come over here into the template builder over here where you will see a bunch of different templates so these are going to be your recommended basically you know cross function project plan over here you have your work request you have your meeting agenda then you have your event planner as well and if you scroll down below we have more and more you know templates that we can choose from and we can choose whichever you know uh, template we feel most comfortable with and once we have that all we'll have to do is just simply click on use template and we are good to go so that's pretty much basically it and also another thing that we can do is you can also customize it as well so if you come over here you will see field so you have assignee you have due date you have project tag if you click on add custom you know field you can add different fields over here such as a priority and you know stuff like that uh, but these come with the uh, pro version so you can't basically add them but you can also add different applications over here you can you know attach your own google drive over here so that no one has to you know keep going over to their own google drive it'll be like a one google drive for the entire project you can name it for that and you can add different folders for that drive for this project and then you can attach that drive over here so that it's access to everyone so oh, everything is pretty simple it's pretty clear everything is in front of you you don't need to do a lot of you know uh, fooling around with it so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye